Okay, um, let's give this a, ro a whirl. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do is play the game in as close to 10 minutes of time as I can. That's going to mean cutting corners a little bit, but we want to make it nice and quick for you guys. Okay, um, so first things first, I go first. I've drawn a J along with a decent mixture of other tiles. Um, the first thing that I'm looking for is can I hit this J on the double letter score and find a five letter word that goes all the way across and uh, I'm just knowing that I can't do that. So then the question is where should I play the word jive? I'm going to play jive here even though it gives up the, oh, got to start the clock. Um, I'll let the clock run a little bit. Um, the reason I'm playing this is that Jive takes so many hooks that uh, I really think it's arguably worse for me to play it such that the hooks will create a double word score. Um, the J is actually not quite as easy to hit really hard there. Um, so, all right, let's see. What am I looking for? I guess I'm hoping for a G for 18. That would be nice. Other than that, uh, I have no hooks for Jive. And I'm just going to have to wait and see what Zoe plays um, to figure out uh, what I'll have available. I guess it's possible that Zoe will play something down from the J with a G in it. And if that happens, okay. Instead, it's just Bajri. Nice play. Um, so I've got an overload of E's and I have a nice spot for the H right there. And my choices here are to just play H E like this, or maybe I can try to get rid of another E by playing this. Um, I think that's probably a toss up. Um, I guess, I think I'm going to play this again. I would love to turn this T into a different consonant. Um, maybe a hook for jive such as a D or an R would be a little bit better. Okay, I didn't draw those. I now have duplicate ends and duplicate eyes, which is unideal, but we should be able to correct that issue soon. Interesting, okay. Hmm. Do I have any way of playing down from this cube? Probably not, unfortunately. Um, this would certainly be a play that <laughs> unduplicates my I's and N's, but I don't. I'm not particularly thrilled with that play. Um, another play that would undouble my I's and N's would be something like this. This is incredibly aggressive, especially given that this takes an A hook. We could easily, easily see a play go down um, with an A hook that scores a boatload of points. Um, oh, it's worth noting actually that the computer burnt a blank to play that. So the first blank is now used up. Um, I think um, rather than make a crazy play like that, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and make a play like this. This scores 35. I, I do undouble <laughs> my N's and I's. It comes at a cost of an S, which I'm not thrilled about, but um, it scores so many points that uh, I do feel kind of compelled to do that. So unfortunately, I draw another U, so that's gonna be my new problem to correct on my next turn. Um, and that is how Scrabble goes sometimes. You just move from one problem to another until hopefully it culminates in a bingo and a very confusing play there as just the D goes down as a hook. So to me, what that says, is that Zoe is struggling terribly with consonants. So it's possible that I can take advantage of that if I can figure out um, the right play to do so. Um, I can, I, I mean, the play that comes to mind, honestly, is if Zoe is really struggling with consonants such that she would play off the D and just the D, my odds of catching her off guard with a play like Furnace are actually very good. If she did not draw a vowel, 
on that play of jived, she may not be able to play in that spot at all. So let's see if my read is correct or whether I will be punished here for my uh, <laughs> far outside the box creative thinking. Um, I'm very curious to see what what Zoe will play. Um, okay, there you have it. So you can see I didn't draw very well here, unfortunately, but I set myself up to potentially make uh, a really, really big scoring play there just from uh, what we call that at the uh, high level in Scrabble is inference, right? What you're What you're doing is you're taking all of your opponent's plays and you're using them as clues to help you make a better play on your turn. So in that situation, I saw that Zoe played one tile off, just a D at the end of jived. And if Zoe had had any vowels there, she would have played almost certainly something with furnished, right? So I took a gamble and it paid off. That was kind of like a, an educated guess. Um, anyway, I'm now winning. Um, I don't have wonderful letters here. Again, it's been since Nisei, my racks have been a little bit imbalanced. I've had problems that I have not been able to deal with. But at the least, uh, I have a Y here that I'm sure I can, I mean, at the, at the very least, I can just play Harry here, which looks pretty good. That's 42 points. Um, gets the Y on the triple letter both ways. Again, I continue to keep a U, which I'm not thrilled about. I've had a U most of my last few turns, and the Q has already been played. Eventually, we will run out of U's, and I can move on with my life here. Um, all right, so let's see. I've got a Z. We like to see that. The Z, one of the better tiles in the game of Scrabble. Um, I'm sure that I'll be able to find something good here. Computer playing gulping. So the nice thing about that is at the very least, I should have zing for 42. Let's just quickly imagine, do I, could I have anything that uses the U here? Um, probably not. And again, we are sort of fighting against the clock to finish the game in 10 minutes. So let's just play Zing. Ooh, there are definitely bingos on this rack. Oh, you, if there's an A, I will have Ulicans. I think this is actually a word as well. I don't think it plays anywhere, um, but it's very possible I will get a place to play um, something like this. I can't remember for sure if that is a word, but I will be trying it. Wow. <laughs> Okay, an enormous play by Zoe gets her right back in the game. That is a stroke of bad luck for me, without a doubt. Um, but we will soldier on. So I don't really think I have any of those good scoring plays or bingos with this rack that I would love to have. So instead, I think I'm going to try to get rid of this U, hopefully once and for all, and keep good bingo tiles and just play Bunko here. So I'm narrowly ahead, and I'm very hopeful to get the next. <laughs> so you can see I'm leveling up, and I have dactyls. I see I had I just that brief snippet as I go through the chest here. Um, the brief snippet of time to look at that rack, I did see that I do have a bingo. It's going to play next turn. So Zoe taking a nice big lead. Yikes. Um, but I do have dactyls here. Um, the question is where to play it. I guess I can play it on top of jived. This may be the best place to do it from a positional standpoint, just because it has that nice effect of blocking the lanes that I set up for myself with Bunko. The reason I want to do that now, of course, is that I'm about to be taking a nice sized lead here. Um, and I think this is a reasonable play. I could have played it a couple different spots, including underneath and on either side of Bunko. And okay, I've drawn the second blank, and I will absolutely have some, oops, 
I will absolutely have bingos with it at the very least, something like sub atoms. Um, I bet, oh, I have mutators through the T of dactyls. So that is going to score a boatload of points if it's not blocked and it's not. Um, so I see the 45 seconds there. I'm not sure I'll technically be able to finish the game. That's more of a guideline for me just to see if I can finish it. Um, and again, I'm not really stopping it on Zoe's turn. So I have a good size lead here. Um, and I've got a boatload of vowels, but I think with two tiles in the bag, Zoe is, even if Zoe has a bingo here, I should be able to pull ahead in the end game. So, all right, Zoe just plays of in the upper left. That leaves her with Relator and Realtor. So I do have to see, okay, so what that means is that Zoe actually has a bingo of Restoral through this S. So um, with that rack, I do need to be careful here. I have to do my best to block Zoe's bingo. So a normally solid looking play would be something like ID here for 21, but that might actually lose me the game uh, unless I um, more proactively block this spot. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get away with just something like eked here. That will block this spot and should let me win. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. There's probably better ideas that allow me to play out on my next turn. I'm just imagining what those might be. Um, I'll go ahead and do this. This should be enough to get the job done. Also, it does put me up by so much that um, pretty much any bingos that Zoe has aren't going to be enough anyway. So we'll just wait. Yeah, okay, that kind of scared me a little bit just because so many letters were coming off of the rack there, but of course, um, not enough. So, all right, in the interest of, of finishing off this game in a timely manner, let's not think super, super hard um, about the move here. I'll just play Oi right here for eight, and we'll finish the game. So that was a uh, kind of a bizarre game. I think maybe the most interesting move that I made was Furnace. And again, I made that move in specific response to Zoe's play of Jived. I would never have made that move if not for the play of Jived indicating really, really heavy consonant overload on Zoe's part. And uh, I was able to sort of take command of the game. Zoe played <laughs> Zing Zingiber, as you see, the highest scoring move of the game to bring her even. But I got the next bingo down um, and finished the game off. So hopefully that was fun to uh, for you guys to watch and listen along. Um, I'll probably now review the game on my end afterwards. And I'll just make sure that in the eventual video, um, any plays that I missed, I'll try to bring attention to those in the sidebar, along with maybe some definitions of some of the weird words that I played. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of insight into um, how a grandmaster level player, player excuse me, thinks about um, their plays. So uh, let me know what you thought. Um, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and there will be more of these types of videos in the future.